Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I live with my husband Michael and our 18 month old or 19 month old girl Esther. Um, gosh, she's growing up. I feel like I've been saying 18 months for so long. Um, so today we are off to see the specialist. So basically we had all of our investigations done. Everything came back normal, although I'm slightly concerned about my follicle count. So I had 14 follicles on the right ovary, but only four on the left. And when I did some research, it said like between um, like 10 to 15 is kind of like normal. But I'm like collectively or just on one ovary, like is one ovary not doing its thing. Um, they could confirm ovulation. I had the um, corpus luteum there. So... Um, that was fine uh so that was all working well no sign of any pcos um just i think it's a slightly low follicle count so when i also got my blood results the doctor mentioned something was low in there as well however she was like not really certain and i am anemic so i do have to go get an iron infusion done so yeah but today we're going to see the specialist and I'll update you about the findings in the next video. Um, but currently sitting at cycle day 23, they confirmed the uh, ovulation from the left ovary. So I at least like know, you know, there was ovulation um, that had happened. So that makes me feel better. Um, but I'm really looking forward to today, really looking forward to hearing the rest of the results. I have an iron transfusion that I need to go and get. So obviously I have to go and do that. We don't really know how I become anemic. Um, I am thinking like I have been masking it the past couple of months with um, taking Multifa. And then I stopped taking Multifa and switched to Elevate when we tried to start conceiving. And over that past like, you know, period of time, like I think a year ago um my iron has dropped and i think i was masking the issue by taking the tablets um because i had a postpartum hemorrhage with Star, and out of that i became anemic like going into that i was already anemic and on medication for it um but then coming out of that i had the hemorrhage and but they still said my hemoglobin was fine so they sent me home and i was just um continued taking the medication and then basically I went and had my iron check because I wasn't feeling great. And then um, that came back fine, but I was on the medication. Stopped taking the medication and now it seems as though, you know, I'm anemic. So a couple of things. I think I have a low follicle count. I'm anemic and something else, another hormone came back a little bit off. I don't remember the name of it, um, but I'm going today. And I'm going to have all that kind of looked at. So I guess I will know more by the end of today. And I can update you in the next video. But the other thing I was going to say is Michael's results came back. And they were pretty much like perfect from what the doctor said. Again, we're seeing the specialist today. She might have a difference of opinion to the GP. Um, but this is where we're at. And I just wanted to update you guys. Um, yeah, I'm at no... Like, I'm not overly, like, concerned with it yet. Um, it'll happen when it happens. It'll happen in God's time. I, I believe that. It's just, um, you know, being referred on to the specialist. Maybe we'll get some answers. Maybe something is going on with my hormones. I don't know. So, at least we'll be able to fix the hormone, the anemia. <laughs> um, and see if I do have a low follicle count because at least then I know um but that is pretty much an update for you guys so I hope that today goes really well and I can't wait to update you guys next week on what was discussed today at the doctors but otherwise I yeah we'll see you guys next week for another update and please send me lots of love and baby dust um, 
yeah you know it's a very emotional time and i'm so grateful to have each and every one of you watching and supporting and following along so please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really supports me and helps me feel confident in this journey um, having a community of people who i know might be in the same boat or you know want education around this so i just want to thank you all so much for being here and you know i hope there's good news soon but i'll see you guys next week